I can't use any other word other than scared because there isn't another word. No one could give me any guarantees if I was going to be able to move my legs again, be able to move my arms again. So, you know, when you hear that, what, what do you do? You'd... I thought, right, just do a test. And it came back positive and I just put my head in my hands. Things started sort of going downhill. So they did a CT scan and found a pneumothorax on me, which is a split in the lung. People were telling me everything's going to be all right, but still, you know, you don't go to intensive care for no reason. And then after that, I don't remember anything. When I came back out of the coma, I then become very worried about the future. You just say to yourself, right, I'm going to do everything that I get told to do. I'm, I'm not going to like it. It's going to be horrible, but it's my only way out of it. I had a speech and language therapist because I couldn't talk. I had to learn to swallow again and learn to eat again and drink. So tiny little steps. It felt like something had reset in my body, so things moved a bit quicker. Just coming out of intensive care was a massive achievement for me. I just thought, you know what, I'm actually going to be able to walk again. That was one point where it just gave me a massive boost. We've got to learn to live with it. Yes, I'm, I'm worried, but you can't live your life in a box, so you've got to do what, what's right for you. I, I was only used to being in that hospital for 10 months. Now I had to go home, get used to my family again, and get used to my house again. Now, when in your lifetime do you ever think you're gonna to have to do something like that? I managed to walk from the wall all the way to the front, where my mate, who's a black cab driver as well, he picked me up and he brought me home. So yeah, that was a fantastic day. And then when I got back here, I just sat on the sofa and I just thought, you know what? This day has actually come. And there were times when I just didn't think it was going to. This Christmas, I'm just hoping it all goes smoothly and I can enjoy my food for everyone to be happy and for it to be, a, a, everyone to have a good time. And that's it, you know.